pivot. I want this project. Day 17, January 17, 2021. Self-leadership. How do you show up as a leader in your life? In my life, I've learned the first step is self-observation practices, self-reflective practices. And in that, you're just taking a moment to look in. And in order to do that, you capture screenshots, uh, snapshots of your life, journals, uh, ways to evoke a, uh, a little bit of a log so that the longer that log is taken, you're able to look at um, the picture over time and it takes on a shape and a life of its own. After you've started capturing that, uh, we, 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 we introduce this notion of playing with it. So gameplay is something that I've been learning from my niece and nephew in these dark and harrowing times in, on the big blue dot of this international space station called human being, li living, learning, loving. Um, and with the kids, they've taught me this wonderful thing called uh, take the st stuff that you have and break it apart. Just made up that game right now, by the way. And in making up the game, what it is is you take the Lego bricks and you scatter them all over these building blocks. And you take the jigsaw puzzle pieces and you dump them out on a table from the box. And you take the sand by the beach and you build it up in a pile. And you start looking at it with wonderment because that's, that's the stuff of you. And in that wonderment, you start composing... Um, shapes, right? Patterns, colors, uh, uh, lines, and you set them up in groupings in terms of organizing them. And then eventually there's this point where you start seeing things start to emerge. And kids have this wonderful way of taking pieces and just starting to move with it. And for us as adults, we get a little bit stuck. But in the power of play, you know, once you have a, a little bit of a system that you've created within the moment, you can start piecing things together to start building stories. In your separated pieces, I invite you to look at beyond the fight, the flight, the freeze of the greater problems going on in this world. And look at the cognitive, the emotional, the somatic in terms of feeling in your body, the interpersonal issues, the moral issues and choices that you have to make in your day to day, and ultimately the spiritual sense of there's something bigger and greater that this is all for. And with all of those pieces, see if you can introduce the play that lays there before you so that we can start as people rebuilding new narratives, new stories, and look at things in terms of buoyancy, to be able to take the story that we have in this current way of being, pivot it, look far off into the horizon, and head into a direction where you know um, the great mythos of your life uh, can finish with a, a story that makes it much more of the future version of yourself and your vision, looking back on yourself and saying, yes, this is what it was all for. And you see that when you see the sand castle being built. And you see that when the uh, jigsaw puzzle gets completed. And you see that when that, when that sculpture out of those building bricks finally get, gets made. And at the end of it all, in terms of the cyclical movement, you break it down and you do it again. And you break it down and do it again. This way. And the next time, that way.